Hello and uh, greetings from South Korea. Um, so I'm doing this with a cough drop in my mouth and bronchitis. Um, I wanted to do video blogs on, on my website, but I've had bronchitis for quite a while. And I'm just like, I'm going to do one. Um, I haven't done a lot in South Korea because I have been sick. But I got to learn a bit about the South Korean healthcare system. Um, I do have insurance out here, which is great because I don't have it at home. And um, so I've been able to go to the doctor. But what's the really weird thing is when somebody realizes you're sick, they tell you to go to the hospital here, even for a cold. So it's really weird. But I did wait and go to a doctor. They have a international clinic in Itaewon, which is about 20 minutes from here on the subway, so it's not bad. Um, it's been kind of interesting getting it set up because I have to get pre-approval so I don't have to pay. The first time I went, I had to call the U.S. Really took away time on my cell phone. Um, but it's kind of nice because I don't have to pay anything for the doctor. And when I went to the doctor, I've gotten breathing tests, x-rays, blood drawn, throat cultures, the work. So it has been kind of pricey. And the bad thing is, pharmacies, I have to pay out of pocket and then get reimbursed. And I think I've spent over $200 in prescriptions with this bronchitis, and I'm not the only one. Uh, most of the girls on my floor are part of the Asia Learn program with me, and almost all of us have been sick or are sick. We've had pharyngitis, bronchitis, uh, the flu, strep throat, and pneumonia. So we're like a little petri dish. Um, so it's been kind of interesting, and it's kind of taxing on everybody. I don't know if it's just because we're foreigners and we're not used to the germs in the air, but we seem to pick up everything. Um, I have gone out a little bit, even though I've been sick. Um, and I was, wasn't sick the whole time I've been here, so I have had time to do stuff. So, I thought I'd talk a little bit about shopping too today. Um, Korea is a great place to shop, especially for... Uh, getting freebies with your shopping. Uh, Korea has a lot of makeup places out here, and everyone is endorsed by a celebrity, usually a K-pop star, and um, they all have different things, cute packaging, all kinds of stuff. I've gotten some stuff. Um, I like to go to Etude House because I've caught a couple sales, and I like their eyeshadow. So this is one of their eyeshadows. I don't know if you can really see it, because of the light. And uh, they're kind of sparkly, so I like them. Um, they also have really cute packaging here. This is a uh, hand lotion from Etude House. Come on. How's that? There we go. This is packaging. It's a lotion. It's shaped like a bee. It's actually hand lotion. Um, so they have some really cute packaging. It makes it really hard to pass it up. And like this is gel eyeliner. And the brush is in here. And then the gel is down here. Um, I just say I really like this eyeliner. I like this company. This is um. This is Hokia Hokia or something like that. I have a nail polish from them too that's really pretty. It's like green and gold and purple. Um, this one's a Tude House, so it's shaped like a heart. It's orange. I got it for uh, one of the artists that released an album and made their comeback. His color's orange, so I was all in orange mood also gotten this one from the face shop and when you go get makeup you get a lot of freebies I got nail polish remover from the face shop and I got a couple of these boxes 
and um, one of the models for Face Shop is one of the girls from Girls Generation, so she's on the packaging. And this is actually a nail polish remover little pads. And I got two boxes of them with nail polish, so that's kind of nice. Um, another time I went, I got a face mask for free. This one's from Etude House. I got one free there, too. I've also gotten some free ones at, um, at a face shop. And like, I've gotten lots of free stuff. And you can see... A little samples stuff, These are kind of weird. They're snail serum. They're from a snail. I haven't tried them yet. <laughs> but it's kind of weird. And uh, this is BB cream, which is a big thing out here. This is a sample. It kind of smooths all the blemishes on your skin as well. Um, I went to sample it at one place and they said I'm too light. <laughs> and the whole thing of BB queen cream is to give them a lighter complexion, but I'm too light. Um, let's see, I'm done. Oh, like I've got all kinds of cute stuff here. I've got really cute stationery. Um, this is my planner. Got it from Artbox. And it's got a little panda on it. And. Like there's these little drawings on a lot of the pages of the panda. And. Every week. They have a little drawing. So it's, it's pretty cute. And um. Just like notebooks and stuff. I have some cute ones. Like this one is like one of my notebooks. So it's like I found a lot of cute things here. And like my folder is keys. I can see it's like a flap. Folder. Um, another thing here, it's like, K-pop shopping is so easy here, because you're in Korea. I think I bought this, is a folder. And, um, I bought Big Bang's album, and I got freebies with it, I got a big poster, and another folder. Um, and like today, you can also bargain here at a lot of places. Um, today, I went to Myeongdong, which is a big shopping area. But I did buy a CD in the subway station at one of the K-pop stores because I haven't been able to find it in the regular stores. And that is... She was new album, and I got a poster with it, and I was just made the comment that it was kind of pricey, which it really wasn't, because, like, the Big Bang Post one, which is actually really heavy because it's got a metal frame, and a photo book in it and everything, I think I got it on sale when it came out for 13000 I got top. Had each member had a different cover, or they had it as a group. And um, this one was fifteen, so it wasn't really that expensive. But I did say it was, and um, I asked if I could get a discount on the other CD I bought, the soundtrack for a Korean drama, because I really like the songs in it. And instead of paying eleven dollars, eleven thousand one, I got it for four thousand one. I thought that was pretty nice. Now there's a lot of places where you can bargain here and get even better deals. So it's kind of great to shop here. I know my roommate and a lot of the guys and girls here have gotten 
a lot of clothes, especially in um, Dongdae Moon has a lot of places where you can bargain, and they've gotten a lot of cute stuff. Um, I haven't got clothes shopping at all, of course, so I'm not a big shopper anyway. Um, mostly what I bought here is food. The food is pretty good. Um, see another shopping place. We went to Insodong, which is a big kind of touristy shopping place, and they have like a lot of souvenir things. And we mostly just looked around that time, which is fine because that takes long enough just to look around. And um, they have some really cool things there. Uh, I think some of it's a little overpriced there. I found it for cheaper other places, but it's kind of cool going. And when I went, there was some performances on the street. Um, there's a musical performance, and just like regular. It was like a flute and something else. I can't remember. And then at the far end, there was a performance with like traditional drummers and traditional costumes and dancing around in a circle. And that was pretty cool. Um, so that's some of the shopping I've done. Also, subway stations are a great place to shop. Like, they have makeup stores and subway stations. I got that CD stuff in a subway station today. I got a gift from my mom, so I'm not showing what it is. And, um, I got... I forgot to bring a backpack. I got a backpack with rainbow zippers for 10,000 won in the subway station at, uh, I can't remember which station, something station, I think. So you can find really good deals in the subways a lot too. And they also have food places down there and stuff too sometimes. Like today, we went to look at cherry blossoms and we ended up hanging out in Mr. Donut in the subway station and talking. So subway stations are a lot different than I thought they were going to be. There's several levels, and like level B3 is usually where the train is, and level B2 usually has a lot of shopping, or B1 has a lot of shopping, and then you leave like the Ano station here by where I live, so the closest station to me has like a 7-Eleven on one level, it has a bakery and a coffee shop. On another level, so there's always stuff in the subway stations, as well as a lot of shopping. It is really easy to spend a lot of money doing shopping here. Um, I've been pretty good. Mostly I bought CDs and food and a few things. Like I have a calendar that's JYJ, um, and I bought some stuff. I went to the musical Elizabeth. Um, I went with, uh, JYJ member Kim Joon Soo was performing. He was pretty amazing. In fact, I'm going to go again the last day he performs because I was pretty sick because it was this last weekend and I kind of missed most of the second half just trying not to cough and stuff. So, um, I go again. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to do this video. It's like 14 minutes long here. Hopefully it loads up to you too. Kind of tell you guys what's been going on. And I've been really bad about writing blogs. So I'm going to try to at least do these video ones. Sorry about my voice this time. And and we'll try to get it better next time. <laughs> I'm getting better. I do have to admit that I'm not coughing as much. But I woke up this morning and I sounded like this. Which is probably the worst I've sounded in two weeks. Uh, <laughs> so, it's not the best, but, um, again, greetings from Seoul, South Korea, and I'll update you again later. Bye.